hang up and try again. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about two common mistakes that we have every time we start programming in Java, we probably find these mistakes more often than you think. The very first one is when you call your file name different from your class file. Java is picky in, in many different ways, but one of the things that Java is quite picky is the file name. So one of the things that we need to recognize is that the file name that you call your program must match with the class file. So let's take a look at that, why that is important in Java and why Java makes a big deal about that. So let's demonstrate the different file name and the error that Java will generate. For example, we're going to create a program called my first program. It will contain the public static void main string args. And of course, we're just simply going to print some string it says hello. I want you to pay attention what we're going to do right now. I'm going to try to save it in my desktop, this file. Now, this is what I was discussing. The file name, well, the class file is called my first program. Now, people often, they do the following. When you try to save it, some editors, they allow you to save your program with the same name. And this is the problem. Some of them you will have to provide it. And, and it's common right now, if you, if you recognize right here, is providing you a suggestion. My first program, right? Of course, we're gonna remove this whole thing. And we're gonna try to do uh, different modifications here. Let's say that maybe my first program, the M is capital, but the F and the P, they're not capital, right? So they're lowercase. And we call it that Java, just to make sure that is the Java file. Notice that we're gonna save it in the desktop and obviously, there are two different file names. Yeah, I'm going to click Save. Notice in my desktop that it generated my first program, that Java, although this is a different file name. Now, let's go ahead and compile this file by using Java C and then my first program, that Java. Let's see what happens. Notice here that Java is complaining. In which sense? So here we find the following error. Java is saying that there is an error in the class my first program is public and should be declared in a file name named my first program. Notice that there is a difference. I know Java is super picky and here is suggesting that you need to use this particular format. So here is kind of give you a hint telling you that inside of here after the class there is a mismatch this is a very typical mistake as i mentioned previously so please be aware that every time you call your file name in the class must match with the file name that you save it this will save you tremendous errors let's fix this there's multiple ways you can fix this the what I recommend is to keep this convention of what we call camel K style, right? So this is very important to have this convention because many of the programs that you're going to see for the rest of your life, they follow this convention. So there's multiple ways to do this. Now, notice that when I call my first program, the file name is already being um, saved with this format, unfortunately. So what I recommend to do is basically resave this file. For example, if we go to file and save as, we're gonna give us this option. So what I recommend is to copy and paste the same name. Notice now that we have the same name with combining the capital letters in order to follow the convention of camel case. So here, notice that in the desktop, there's already my first program, that Java. So when you save, this program is going to tell you if you want to overwrite it. It says something like my first program that Java already exists. Do you want to replace this? And you just say yes or replace. Okay. 
So notice right here in the name of the file that now contains the capital cases for F and P. So it now follows the convention of the camel case. And also notice here in the desktop that we have my first program also with the same name. Now they both match. So let's go ahead and compile. Let's clear our screen and compile. it. So notice here in the desktop that it shows that it generates the class file. This class file is quite important because this is basically the running component of the source codes that we create here. This is the source codes, this is the class file, and this is what it's gonna run. So let's go ahead and run this. There you go. Now we have the hello here is, as you see here in the screen, it prints hello after we run the first program. So that demonstrates this typical mistake that we have and how we fix it. The second mistake that is quite common is when you call your file name the same name as a reserved word in Java or an object name. So you probably already know, but there's a list of reserved words that Java owns that you should not call either a variable like that or an identifier or a file name. A second thing is that you should not call your file name with objects. I'm not going to go very deep in objects, but at least right now you know a couple of objects, hopefully, that you should not call them the same name of your file. Please be careful with this. This is very common and many of my students, they, at the very beginning, the very first steps, you have that error. So please be aware that this name, you should not use them as an identifier of your file name. Let's write a code so I can demonstrate this mistake that you're going to have and this error that you obtain by fixing it. Let's go ahead and do this. I start to write some kind of code here that demonstrates some strings. You can see on line three that we have a variable called greeting that contains hello. On line four, you have another variable called name that contains servin. And we have another variable on line five that contains the concatenation of these two guys, your greeting and name. So basically we want to have something Together in all says hello and then some white space and then name, which is in this case Serbin. So this is what we want to print on line six. The mistake that we have here is that commonly when you want to save this program, your file name or your class name is called string. And this is the mistake. Many students, they have this. Um, since we're working with the strings, you say, I might as well call this file a string. And this is a bad situation. Let's see how. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to save it on purpose as a string.java. Notice the following. So here in the save as, we have string.java. And we'll see what's going to happen. We're going to save it in the desktop. I'm just going to click save. Here, the editor that I'm using, which is called recognize that this is a Java file. So that's why we have all these nice colors. So I'm going to go ahead and compile Java C string.java. Here is in the desktop. And notice here in my desktop that uh, automatically saves. Here appears that I have in my desktop string.java. I'm going to compile it and let's see what happens. So notice here that Java is complaining big time. Here it's telling you, you know what? There is an incompatible types. Java.string, lang string, cannot convert it to a string. So here is where many students, they, I don't know, it says, you know what? Everything is fine, professor. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I've just created a string. I have a variable name and I'm providing this string. I don't know what's wrong. And the problem is because you're overriding the file string. So this string is the main error. This is the main mistake. And maybe this is not what you want to call a string. Maybe you can call it something like a string activity. And if you want to do this, you need to create another file uh, or save it as a file save as 
and with that name, string activity. Now, even if you do this, ladies and gentlemen, when you save it here, it will appear in your desktop. But check this out. You still have string.java in your desktop. And even if you call it differently, let me clear my screen and let me compile string activity.java. Even if I try to do this, Java will complain. And the reason is because in your desktop, what you have in your desktop is that you have this string.java still. So please, if you have this, you need to delete it immediately. That is the way you're going to solve this problem. When you got those mistakes that you can see here, those errors that they say you cannot convert it to the string, and it sounds silly because everything looks normal, then it's because you have the string class still on your desktop, which is in this case what is happening. So let's get rid of this guy. Make sure you delete it. And now if we go to the compile part, if we go here to the terminal, let's clear my screen and compile again and look what's going to happen. It compiles successfully, even it generates the class file, as we can see here. So now we can run the program as Java string activity. And here's what we were expecting by using the concatenation from line 5 from the two strings greeting and name. So today we talk about two common mistakes that happen in the preliminary stages of your programming experience. The very first one is when you call your file name differently from the one on the class files. Remember that Java is speaky and Java must match the name of your file with the name of your class file. So Please make the habit that as soon as you call public class and then the name, the file name, must match with that particular identifier. The second mistake that is also common is when you call your file name with an identifier or a reserve word or an object name. For example, these are examples of that. So the very common mistake is when someone calls string.java, Java makes a conflict when trying to find an, the actual string that belongs to the library in Java. We're going to talk about that thing in more in detail in the class part or in the session part. But those are the typical mistakes that you're probably going to get at the first weeks of programming or the first hours of programming. So every time you remember this, mistakes or these errors that we found today, please come back here and remember how to solve. Please don't feel bad. Remember that we're learning through mistakes. So I'll see you next time in another episode of learning programming through mistakes. See you next time.